Oh, okay, there you go. Tell me. This is a Tesla Model 3 headrest. This is Tesla build quality. After a while, you might notice that your headrest starts sucking. So what do you do to sucky headrest? You make it suck even more. Tesla, 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 you suck, 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 you suck. Ah! You wanna see what's inside this? It's probably trash because Tesla is trash. Do I have a knife? You can play tic-tac-toe on it. Like that. See that? X. Because Tesla is an X'd out company in my books till they get their act together. Look at that. You got the full leather with the padding on the inside. Okay, it is pretty strong. Look at that. And all the nasties being ripped off. Ah! Okay, I need a knife. Okay. Okay. Recording. Of course, we got to go along the stitch stitching lines. You know, Tesla gives us easy access with the stitching lines being so readily available right here. And this is the foam inside. Check that out. Look at that. Your hard foam. Boom, boom, boom. And then behind the foam, it's just black plastic, in case you're wondering. So you have fake leather, foam inside this plastic. And then you have black plastic. So that is basically inside of a Tesla headrest. So now you could either do it to yours or maybe don't. This is not a recommendation. And this is done by someone who is, well, not necessarily professional, but, 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 um, uh, uh just warning. Don't play with sharp stuff. Like and subscribe.